Hi everyone, this is 31 Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone to part number one of my Yamaha G2 golf cart tune-up video. So, as always, let's get started. This is my G2 golf cart that I've had now for about 10 years. Now I lifted it probably the second year I got it and put the bigger tires on. And a few years after that I painted it, uh, it used to be uh, maroon colored. Now, when I first got it, it was tuned up, and shortly after about two years went by, or three years, the golf cart would no longer start if the temperature got below 40. Now, I never really did a full tune-up on it once since I've had it, um, other than just cleaning the spark plug and stuff like that, because I really only use it a little bit in the summer months. Now, I'm going to take and go through this and try and put it back together and tune it all up to, to see if we can get it to run in the cold and that's what we're going to be doing in, in this video series. So we're going to get started with that next. Now for our tune-up kit, um, I'm on eBay right now and I'm going to show you guys where I get uh, some of the stuff that when I, the, the things that we repair around here. Anyway, this uh, tune-up kit is from a vendor on eBay and the name of the vendor is Shop Authority and he has a pretty good feedback record and um, I'll scroll up here or scroll down so you guys can see the uh, what it comes with, what it consists of. It has an air filter element, it comes with a foam wraparound element for the air filter, it comes with a torque converter belt along with the new starter alternator belt it's got an in-tank tank gas filter, a spark plug, and four of the air filter box tie-down uh, rubbers. That, that's what it comes with. So we're going to go ahead and order this, and then we're going to start uh, our tune-up and get it in progress. On the G2 Yamaha golf car, we've got a little lever right here by the gas tank that just you flip up and then you tilt the seat forward. And then, no, I just keep the, uh, the engine cover. I don't put the screws back into it anymore. It just kind of snaps into place. Just kind of lift it up a little bit. It's kind of tricky to slide it out. Like so. And that gets, gets us down to where the engine's at. Well, it looks like our tune-up parts have arrived for the golf cart, so we're going to open them up and see how they look for our G2 uh, Yamaha golf cart and open up the top of the box with a screwdriver now this is our tune-up kit part number for the G2 Yamaha golf cart okay these are our tune-up parts for the G2 for the Yamaha G2 golf cart that we got in new this is our gas line filter that goes up inside the gas tank and connects to our gas line hose. Here's our spark plug and this is uh, a 1097 BR4ES NGK. Um, that's the spark plug that goes in into the uh, top of the engine there in the head. Now here's our um, these are our tie downs that go on the air filter around the outside edge and these are the belts. Now I'm not going to use these belts, I'm going to just save them and put them away for a rainy day if there's a problem with the belts later on because I put new belts on um, the golf cart about a year ago so I don't really need those, I just got them for a backup that worked out good with the price. Now here's our air filter element that goes into the air box along with our foam um, element that goes over the top of it. So now the first thing we're going to get started with that I like to do is, is the hardest and that's going to be to put this gas line filter up in the tank and the next thing we're going to do I'm going to show you where that's at. Now the gas line filter is where this gas line goes down and disappears um, in the tank, on the side of the gas tank. This is the gas tank right here. 
Now here's our fuel pump and the first thing I'm going to do is take a pair of standard needle nose pliers and I'm going to undo the clip where that gas line comes from that gas line filter and pull this um, gas line hose back. Now it connects into our little diaphragm operated fuel pump that runs off the piston pressure on the engine and we're gonna now I got that clip undone we're gonna slide it back now I'm gonna take a smaller standard screwdriver and start prying off the gas line hose off the fuel pump we want to disconnect this and try and let the gas drain out into a bucket underneath the machine if, if it'll do so the, the um, The fuel filter may be blocked and clogged up, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen if it's going to allow it to flow out. A little bit of gas just came out, it's getting wet, but I do have this thing almost filled to the top because it starts easier in the winter time when I warm up the garage. Now I can get it to start, the golf cart to start, as long as I heat it, the, the garage up for two days and let the engine warm up thoroughly then it'll start up but we're the object here is to try and get this thing to start in the cold okay now I'm going to take this um, one of our lab cans here and we're going to slide it underneath the golf cart and start getting the gas out of the tank I'm going to have to do it little bits at a time and this is the part that really is uh, really time consuming to deal with getting the uh, the gasoline out of this thing so we're going to slide that right there hopefully it'll be lined up when we go up on top and look down now I did get the gas on free so the next thing I'm going to do here's our gas line and it's starting to leak gas already so we got to get that down into that bucket quickly. I don't know if you guys can see that but it's going right into the bucket. I'll try and zoom in. The gas tank is almost right to the top. I always in the winter time try and uh, put a lot of gas in it so it um, won't cause a backup on the uh, the diaphragm that's in the pump on the the fuel pump. Now, as I look down into the the gas in the can that where I've taken it out of the tank, it really doesn't look that bad, and I'm not sure. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought uh, the fuel filter was plugged in the tank, but obviously it's not after 10 years of use so um, we're just gonna you know follow through the rest of the tune-up and hopefully everything will work out now I'm going to try and take a pair of channel locks and remove our fuel filter that's in the tank now this is our new one right here and uh, if this pair doesn't fit it's real tight and hard to get up into the area where that thing's at so if that smaller pair doesn't fit, I have this bigger pair. I'm going to try and use, uh, uh, as we can see, this, this one goes right on it. But I'm not sure the head on this uh, set of uh, channel lock pliers is going to be able to clear and get up inside where the area is, where it's at. So I'm going to be doing that and uh, laying on the floor and having to get up underneath there next. Okay, we finally got it loose and letting the last little bit of gas come out of the bottom of the tank. Now we're going to pull this filter up and see how bad it really is. Now we can see the old fuel filter and uh, here's our new filter that we're going to put back in. I hope that it might have had a little bit more dirt on it than this, but um, 
that just only leads me to believe that there's another problem that's causing this to not start in the winter so after we get this, this is the hardest thing that we have to do right now and I want to get this kind of stuff done first and then the rest of it's pretty much easy and uh, at least it's up on top I don't have to crawl on my back or crawl underneath the, the golf cart to work on it I'm just going to take our um, standard pair of needle nose pliers and pull our clamp back on our fuel filter on the old one and we're going to just pull it off let's throw that in the jug and then this is our new fuel filter here we'll slide it on take the needle nose pliers and put the clamp back on now I'm going to Okay, now I'm going to have to get this back down in there. Now, I wasn't able to get this thing out from underneath. I had to come up on top with a big pair of channel locks that I have right there and take this thing out from the top. It was kind of tricky to get it out. Now I just have to hook up the uh, the gas line hose right here on the fuel pump. It goes into this piece right here. And that goes on. Now I'm just going to take our pair of needle nose pliers that we have here, a standard pair. Then we're going to push that clamp back up over its little limit there to put it 